we may find ourselves thinking, what does space really look like? Are we all in a flat plane rotating in one axis? Or is there perhaps more to the shape of the universe? Many astronomers have theorized the geometric shape and even the size of the known universe. When we see our little cluster of planets, we cannot visualize any shape to our galaxy, let alone our universe. If we just zoom out of our cluster a few thousand light years, we can see the spiral shape of the Milky Way. However, this doesn't even give us a glimpse of the unimaginable size of our great universe. There is a question of whether the universe is finite or infinite. A finite space has bounded metric space in which everything has a defined distance and the universe's diameter has a well-defined volume or scale. Infinite space has unbounded metric space and can continually grow as particles and dust from the original Big Bang continue to form new galaxies at the outer edge of our universe, continuously adding to this infinite space. This, however, still does not give an explanation to the theories of the size and shape of space. We will take a look into three ideas of what the size and even the shape of the universe may look like and the ultimate fate of these kinds of universes from the outside looking in. We will go into the more common theory of the size and shape of the universe which begins with the theory of a flat universe. A flat universe is one that expanded on a flat plane after the Big Bang. This flat plane can also be described by Euclidean space. In a flat universe, all of the local curvature and geometry is flat. In a flat universe, whenever there is an absence of dark energy, the forever expanding flat universe continues to expand, however, at a decelerating rate. This takes us to the theory of closed and open universes. In an open universe, the flat universe will simply slow down its expansion forever. However, a closed universe proposes that the deceleration of expansion will eventually reverse due to gravitational pulls from the original Big Bang and then collapse upon itself. In a spherical universe, the universe is an expanding sphere where the galaxies reside on the surface of the sphere making farther galaxies seem distorted. The sphere may suffer the same fate if dark energy is seldom present, making it eventually collapse on itself due to gravity, called the Big Crunch. However, if there is a large amount of dark energy as founded by the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, or WMAP for short, then the universe will continually expand infinitely. The last theory is the idea that the universe is a hyperbolic universe, or a universe shaped like a saddle. This type of shape is negatively curved and also an open type of universe where it can extend infinitely. As long as there is enough momentum in the universe's expansion, then there is gravitational force. A hyperbolic universe will grow outward from both sides possibly making a donut shape if it were to ever expand that far. 
we have taken a look into the multiple visual thoughts of the shape of the universe and looked into the possibility of open and closed universes where the Big Bang can reverse or continue to grow into an even larger greatness. <laughs>